Oh, Place. Oh, it's gonna stay this thing. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, guys. How's it going? I'm gonna go today. I'm gonna play viewers. Just started the stream beautifully, spilling my smoothie all over the place. All right, go to light. Uh, you got a game, just please change your challenge to 3 plus 2 instead of 5 plus 2. Uh, so the, the longest time control I'll play is 5 plus 0. Yes, Mega, how's it going? Alright, I'm gonna start with Mysterious Expert. Let's go. Oh, damn, he, he's got almost my rating. That's gonna be a tough start. I'm, I'm, it's 8 a.m. here, so... Anyone will get a chance to beat me. At 8 a.m. I'm at, at best I'm an IM, not a G. Alright, we got a King's Indian. King's Indian with G3. I'm gonna go E5. The other moves are like A6. Yeah, unfortunately everyone goes for this. He takes e5 nowadays and it black gets very boring position with little chances to win. I'm just developing the pieces normally. Oh Akash, thank you for gifting 5 subs. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Alright, so knight d5 straight away is not the best move, but I'm not sure why, so I gotta I gotta figure that one out. E4 looks very logical. Yeah, I mean, probably the only problem that could be with knight d5 is e4. And now this knight on d5 can be ca captured. I'm not so sure, but we can go here. Takes. No matter what, white is not going to be worse here. Yeah, I gotta take on d5. But wait, takes, takes city, queen d5, knight e4, queen e5. Yeah, it looks very equalish. But can I do anything better? No, I can't really. Yeah, I'm just gonna take. I'm very close to equalizing. Guys, uh, the, the stream is going to last for at least two hours, so lots of people going to get a chance to play. Just send your challenges. There's only 25 challenges sent so far. Yeah, so this was what I was calculating in here. I can even take on Divan and then go King G7, but then, then I'll be suffering heavily in an unpleasant end game. I'm gonna go queen e5, put pressure on b2 pawn. This looks like a nice position for white. White has zero weaknesses, everything is protected, except b2 pawn, but I'm not even threatening to take it, because it can just go if you want. Yeah, next one is go to light, just ch change your challenge, please. He was the first one in the list. Okay, now I'm gonna go bishop g7. Cannot keep this bishop here. Because uh, that ties up my knight. He goes knight c3, very logical move. Yeah, this looks like a pleasant position for white. So I've gotta be cautious. How do I protect this knight? Simple tack task but not easy to achieve.
Damn. Running out of time. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this ugly move. Mega, by the way, feel free to send me a list. Hello from Norway. I've been to Norway uh, once, twice, to Tromsø, because you know, there have been two major events in Tromsø, Olympiad and World Cup. But, but I wasn't playing actually at the Olympiad, I was just visiting. Oh, we should almost blunder Bishop F7. Alright, I gotta speed up. I'm gonna be flagged otherwise. Alright, gotta... Gotta defend now. The position is pretty sad. Damn, looks like my opponent is pretty fast. I shouldn't have started playing with some someone strong like him. I overestimated my ab abilities. He did make. I, didn't, I wouldn't say even if he made mistakes. Oh, damn. Blunder the pawn. This is pretty sad. Here comes the flagging business. Too fast! Oh damn! Oh, too good. Well done. Well played. Hungry man. I'm not playing anti chess, guys. Only standard chess. Very, very well played, mysterious expert. Well done. Um, let's play the casual. Where's the that guy I promised the game? Hey Akash, would you like a game? <coughs> I'm gonna play Hashayar. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, pretty damn speedy, that's true. It's it's it, in general it's much easier to play your opponent. Go to light, yeah yeah, okay, I'll play you next. It's much easier to play your opponent when you have more information on him. You know, at least you know what you're expecting and stuff. You still gotta play just fundamental chess, but having an, uh, having it, at least for me, having uh, lots of information about my opponent helps a lot. Sorry guys, I just really like playing patrons. I think that patron thing is fun. <laughs> just even just the name. So this is some kind of Nimzo Indian. I'm just playing some sensible moves, fighting for the center, developing all my pieces. And this bishop d3, queen e2 is a bit dodgy because uh, now his, his knight has to go to h3 and usually you don't want to put your knight at the edge of the board. Alright, I'm just gonna continue with the development. If he takes here, I'm gonna take on d3 first, then on d5. Let's go rook c8. Just gotta play all. Just gotta bring all your forces to the game, guys. If you don't develop all your pieces, you basically only use the ones that are developed. No, Mega. I'm not saying the last opponent was mysterious. Not at all. 
He was just good. <laughs> yes, I play. I mean, I don't play them on my channel, but on Lee Chess TV, I play everyone. On my channel, I'm very corrupted. I, I only play subs, but it's not the case on Lee Chess TV. But if you haven't sent your challenge yet, it's gonna be hard for you to get a game. You gotta try your luck. Alright, now my opponent is making some serious mistakes. He, he weakened his king, his knight is on the edge of the board, his pawn down, and his bishop on d2 is a big pawn. So he's gotta be punished for that. And if you guys watch my channel, you know what GM Melkumian does. To punish his opponents. Yeah, five plus five. If I play you five plus five, that's already like fifteen minutes. I I can't give you that much time. You gotta send me something reasonable. Three plus zero, two plus one, or if you're very lazy, three plus two. I'm actually recommending everyone who's starting chess to play longer time controls, it's good for you. Because, you know, when you have like 5 minutes and a few seconds of increment, you can think of it. With 3 plus 0, you make lots of instinctive moves, and it's usually not that good at the start of your, what could be a chess career. Yeah, anyone can challenge, doesn't matter what your rating is. Man, it's very clear, you just open the list and you say, oh my god, 50 challenges already. This is going to be a mess. Guys, forgive me if I miss me your challenge. There are just too many. I'm just gonna give a game to go to light. Oh, funky pants, you're here tro trolling me. You go everywhere to troll me. Alright, our opponent blundered a big piece. GG Kashiyar, hope you enjoyed the game. Thank you. Where is the Gorolite? Gotta give him a game. He's not even in... Oh god, uh, how am I gonna find him ever? Ah, oh, here we go. I promised you a game, so I'm gonna play him. Sorry, no special requests taken. You just gotta challenge and see what happens. There's 52 challenges at the moment, so... Uh, I assume I'll play at least 15 of them. Alright, I'm, again I'm playing King's Indian Structure. If you could say that, just fiancé doing my bishop. As I mentioned this several times, don't ever fiancé to your knight, only your bishop. Fiancé to the, the knight is one of the worst things you, could, you can do to your knight. Alright, here I'm going to actually use a tactical resource and go e5. If it takes, takes, the bishop on d3 will be unprotected. And it will be attacked by my queen. Hey man, hey NK, NK, I know you're a sub to my channel, but uh, sorry, I can't give you priorities at Leeches TV just because you are a sub to my channel, although I really appreciate your support. I'll play you on my channel, how about that, when, when I'm done here. Oh, I gotta turn on the aircon, it's, it's very excessive hot in Australia. But it's gonna cool down in a few hours actually. It's supposed to rain. It, the, the weather was like 27 degrees at 2 3 a.m. So that's something really, really weird for Canberra. Alright, so we took the e4 pawn, we went d5, and the problem is if he castles now, I take on e4 and not only I capture a piece, I also attack, double attack. What's your favorite world champion? I mean, I, I really loved Alekhin and Capablanca as a kid. Thank you, new follower. 
But uh, for me, the greatest is Carson. Uh, in Australia, in Canberra, it's 8 a.m. now. Thank, thanks, new followers. I wake up very early in general. Like, I have a tennis lesson at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. So in general, I like waking up early. I saw Kramnik's post uh, on Twitter or on Facebook that uh, most of the chess players sleep at 4 a.m. That's total bullshit. Don't believe him. I mean, there's lots of players who like to sleep late, but basically all my friends, they they never really sleep after 1 a.m. And, and me personally, I hate sleeping late. Oh, Karpov just had one of the greatest techniques in the game. Uh, one, hey, Road to Chess Master, how's it going? Uh, so the thing with Karpov was, when I was a kid, my coach would just play me his games. Uh, he has a very good book, I think it's called 50 Games or something. Uh, his, I, I don't remember the name of the book, it's basically a collection of his best games. And he would just play the games, read the commentaries and explain them to me. And I think that had a very good effect on me. I was only like 19 years old and I, I learned a lot. I think that could be one of the reasons I'm more of a technical player than... Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much Akash. You, if you'd like, I could give you a game. Have you sent the challenge? I play all of them, my friend. Maybe Czech Benoni is one of the most... The rarest stuff I'll ever play. But in general, I my style. Uh, in general, I like to keep my opponent guessing and play as many openings as possible. Because in that way, usually your opponent goes like, "Oh, screw him! He just plays every single opening. I'm not gonna even bother preparing against him." Akash Mani. Okay, you gotta be in my friend. You corrupted me heavily, so I gotta give you a game. Alright, this king is cut in the center, so that's why I'm gonna give my two rooks for the queen. Sadly, my smoothie is finished and the rest of it is on the floor. Yeah, yeah, the other Akash, the, the one who gifted Fafsa. <laughs> No, I've never played Ulf Anderson. The funny thing about Ulf Anderson is, like, nowadays, obviously he's a legendary player, but nowadays whenever I see him play, is usually at Benaske or a few other... Uh, or... Uh, wait, where was the other place he plays? In Bavaria. Bad Wiese, yeah, Bad Wiese. And he usually only... So let's say the tournament is 11 rounds. He usually plays like 5 rounds. And... No, no, he plays like three rounds out of five and all of them white and then he just fucking pack, packs up his stuff and leaves. <laughs> the, one of the tournament uh, organizers in Benaski was telling me that he knew like he was gonna leave. So he went and ran to his room and got him and uh, asked him to play a few more games. And he did, but then again, on the next day he left. So the guy is pretty outrageous. He just, yeah. Paxa, hey man, hello, hello from Brazil. The only Brazilian word I know is obrigado. But I have a few very good supporters from Brazil. And I have a very good friend, the Sevak Mkhitaryan from Brazil. Armenian Brazilian. Good games, got a light. Uh, yeah, so in general, I would just recommend you uh, here. Well, first of all, you can develop your bishop on e2, just to avoid this d65 stuff. And then, don't ever open the center when your king is in the center. So here, you should have gone like bishop e2 or something. I mean, it, it looks ugly, but you, you just cannot open the center if, when your king is there. And my rook is on e8. Alright, Akesh, what was your handle? Alright, I'll just play somebody random. I'll play later. You just need to remind me you're... Alright, B99, you're next in the list, let's play. Akash Mani, ah, oh, okay. Alright, I'll play you next, sorry. 
I'm an ar okay, I'm gonna play French this time. It's pretty unorganized. The difference between 1300 and 2000? Um, not... Probably 2000 is much better, but I can guarantee you this. If you work hard, you'll get to 2000 very quickly. At the beginning, usually it's easy to improve. Because there's so much stuff you don't know. Alright, French exchange. Pretty boring stuff. But for me, guys, there's actually never a boring opening. I just like to play any opening. And just follow the logic behind. Oh, Mega send us a list. We're gonna play that later. Thanks for that, Mega. Oh, challenges for beginners or... Well, you probably need to do tactics because if you if you don't know how to calculate, that's pretty sad because you're gonna blunder. Uh, but you can just do both. Basically, it's all about hours. If you put the hours... And if you work on your chest, you're just gonna get better. Unless you do something really useless like playing... I don't know, some stupid variants of chess. Alright, this looks very symmetrical. Bishop g5, bishop h6 doesn't really get him to anywhere. I'm gonna swap the light squared bishops and get my knight to f5. So, uh, I have developed even. Uh, we developed equal amount of pieces. So he decides to help me out with that. Let's appreciate it. Yeah, I, I've never played all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I have played Vahal Sun up uh, once or twice. I, I remember I beat him in the last round in a European Championship in Kosovo. Uh, that was a good game, I played a good game. But I can't. I think I played him more than that. I definitely played him heaps of blitz online. But yeah, I can't. I, oh, sh I meant to go Queen E7. My mouse is drunk actually. It's not a big deal, but I have been mouse slipping heavily. Yeah, there's so many ways to play against London, and all of them basically are le leading to a static structural game where whoever maneuvers better usually wins the game. Alright, I'm gonna go g5 and, you know, threaten g4, try to bring some extra forces to the game and also to open this g6 square for my knight. Because usually, when knight is here and your opponent's pawn is 3 squares uh, in front of it, it, it does a really good job blocking it. So you usually don't want to have your knight there. You want to transfer it somewhere else. Yeah, my, my mouse is hangover from last night. Today's Australia's day, guys. A very controversial day. Lots of Australians celebrate it, but it's basically the first day that... Uh, people have arrived to Australia. Uh, not the Aboriginal people, the uh, white people. And you know what they did, so... It's a very controversial day. Many people don't celebrate. Okay, I'm gonna go b65. Yes, true. That's a very good point. It, it, it was one of the best mouse slips I ever had, I'll tell you that. Usually mouse slips are total disasters. But this one, can't even call it a mouse slip. Phone, oh, I think we, we listened to this before, I'm not sure. Alright, I've been in love with Interpol and Morphines and you know, one of my guys from the chat recommended them to me and because it's really hard to find the new good stuff because I've been listening to music all my life. What's that sh shame is? Oh, where's Blairk? Oh, Blairk, how's it going? Need to update your payment before. <laughs> Yes, yes, Alti donated me 10 bucks when I was off stream. Oh no, Alti, it was Australian dollars, dude. I thought it was US. Oh wait, wait, there's no increment, damn. Alright, I'm gonna swap, I'm gonna bring my king to the... 
center. But the main plan here is, guys, very simple: to flag your opponent. But but I recommend against dirty flagging. I don't like that. I only do it when I'm forced to do it. <laughs> no, I never flag like knight versus pawn and stuff like that. If you have a really good position, and then you stuff it up, and then your opponent has two seconds, yeah, you can flag him, whatever. But when you're flagging knight versus pawn, I'm not gonna have a good opinion about you. Although lots of lots of GMs find it as a part of the game and they do it. All right. Oh no no, that's a ma massive blunder. Queen penetrates. Sorry, I had to use that word. I use that word non-stop. So, all right, I'm gonna give to Akash. Uh, wait, not. Wait, what, what was your name? Something Akash Money? Uh, Akash, Akash, Akash. Dude, where are you? Man, I can't find you. There was mate in one. Oh, the, oh good game. The, oh, I'm so dumb. Mate in one. Jesus. You are the enemy. National master? Is that? Oh, okay, okay. Let's go. 5 plus 0. So guys, if you wanna move up in the list, it's very simple. You just gotta corrupt me. I'm a post-Soviet uh, Union. I'm from a post-Soviet Union country, so corruption is part of my life. <laughs> just joking. Oh, dude, relax, man. I'm. Pl you want to just smash me straight away? Scroll past, yeah. Typical me. Alright. Oh, why am I playing on skip on this? Okay, that's it, guys. No more. No more fianchetto in the bishop on g7. That's it. I'm done for today. Gonna play different structures. I hate playing the same stuff over and over. Sorry, my friend. I don't have... You just gotta send the challenge and I hope... I'll play you randomly. You cannot just type in the chat and I'll say, okay, screw everybody else, I'm gonna play you. That's, that won't be fair, right? Alright, you, you gotta fight for the center. You can't just leave all your pawns on the 7 track. So I'm gonna go e5. My opponent is very desperate to mate me. So when your opponent is going for an attack, you just gotta, you know, develop your pieces and go for an attack on his king come on dude you gotta wish for bigger stuff nm wish for an im and then you'll get an a uh, nm what what does it national master what is it uh, <laughs> dude <laughs> Who does that? One of the soccer players does it. <laughs> I bet he's gonna beat me and then he's gonna do that. He's gonna score against me. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, Nike, that sounds fair enough. Let's do that. Okay, it's playing the same song, so we're gonna go to Mega's list. Let's see what Mega has for us. 20, 000, 2009 album by Phoenix. Guys, Mega is my DJ at my channel. Like, it's not his main job, but he's very kind enough to DJ for me. So I heavily rely on his playlists. It's very, very tough to concentrate on your game and at the same time find albums to play. Your FIDE rating is poop, then work hard and make it... Uh... Oh, hey, hey Blair, how's it going? Oh no, Andre! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Well, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Well, because I'm streaming for Leech's channel, Andre. Can't you see you're not a VIP and stuff? Sorry, I'm, I have a bad habit of playing poker chips. Take them away. All right, we're gonna go C4 and expose this king. Thanks for your donation, though. I don't know how much you donated, but I'm sure you're very generous as usual. Wait, do you want a game, Andre? If you want a game, I have to play it. Guys, Andre uh, Bl Blensberg is the biggest troll on Lee Chase. He always plays like F6, King F7, not even Bone Cloud, the, the, the thing that's banned in my channel. He plays uh, the worst versions of Bone Cloud. Okay, Andre, I'll play you next. Alright, so my plan is very simple. I'm gonna double on a, a B file, and if he's brave enough to go before at some point, then I'll open up the B file with C file. Dude, the guy corrupted me, so I gotta play. Uh, definitely, you get a chance to play a GM sometime. All the GMs are alive nowadays, so eventually, you get a game. And there's so many opportunities. It's, it's so easy nowadays to learn chess on um, to improve in chess because all the chess players are stuck home they don't know what to do so they do lots of stuff that you could be learning from all right my opponent is putting up a good fight oh he's 2400 damn I probably should take him seriously and concentrate I cannot afford to lose second game out of five oh it, it really draws my attention just grabbing this but it, it might be a bit too much no i'm just gonna follow my plan in general guys it's very important in chess to have a plan even if it's a bad plan it's important to play with a plan just a sneaky move and if he goes here Yes, yeah, Simul is a good way, because usually if you're playing a GM, like, uh, and he doesn't tell you what you did wrong and stuff, you're not gonna learn much, you're just gonna be crushed and not gonna understand what happened. So it's very important if GM plays you and then tells you what you did wrong. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh yeah, Akash gifted 5 subs, so thank you very much for that, Akash, and hope... Uh, Akash is in the middle of the game, guys, right now, so please don't distract him. Okay, I'm gonna go for a small tactic and win a pawn, but my opponent still got chances to save this. But little he knows, I'm an endgame master. Am I right, Blurk? All right, I need this pawn. Oh no, that's a massive blunder. Running pawn. All right, GG Akash Money. Thank you very much for the game and for your uh, five gifted subs. Much appreciated. All right, where is our troll hammer slug? Here we go. But, oh, you want the rated game, dude? You want a rated game? Okay, I'll give you a rated game. Uh, let's play C4. Guys, just check out Hammer Schluck's game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, let me ban him. I'm gonna ban him right now. For playing this. Oh, how do you ban? That's it, you're banned. <laughs> this is his main weapon, guys. Like he knows everything that's happening here. But this is the first time he plays this against me. He would not dare to do it on my channel. He's just trolling me. 
Oh, h oh, he, he knows like covering the h5 square, so he doesn't get queen h5 check. I bet he played this position at least a few hundred times before. Guys, if I lose this game, the stream's gonna end. I'm sorry. It's gonna be the last game. As you can see, he has a pretty decent score against me. Schlog is a dangerous opponent. You know what, Schlog? I'm gonna go after you right now. No mercy for you. Oh, what the hell is this? I'm really tempted to, to grab that knight with the rook. But it might be a bit too much. No, I'm not I'm not that brave. Especially when playing the Hammer Schlug. Alright, let's give the check. Let's see where is he gonna put his king. Oh yeah, I forgot. So Andre, guys, as soon as he sees me, he thinks I have a serious uh, disease. <laughs> I cannot help swapping the queens. So his main plan when he plays me is just to keep his queen away from swapping. I think it's the fear, my friend. It's a bit hard, but mainly it's the fear. I'm, I'm all shaky. Oh, knight d4. Oh my god. Knight d4. I blundered. Oh gosh. Every time this, this move I just blunder. It's unbelievable. He just goes knight d4. His knight is beautifully placed on d4. So what I'm gonna do? My friend, I, I calculate one move ahead. <laughs> it does... You can calculate 50 moves ahead sometimes when it's just push, 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 but it just usually doesn't make sense. The tree is too big, so few few moves ahead is good. Oh, I got you, Hammer! I got you! <laughs> totally deserved for playing this POS opening. Don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give you back. Take back. <laughs> I give you take back. I said take back. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, for a lot of testosterone. I forgot, man. <laughs> Uh, Andre, I hope nobody will go to my Discord and see what you wrote to Mega. Because then, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, what about Rook H5? Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna troll you all the way. So, if he swaps the Queens, guys, this is the only way he would do it. Road to chess master, how is life in Spain? Yes, I do like Fisher Random. It makes me feel dizzy sometimes when I look at the board, but it's definitely the best variant of chess for me. Oh damn, I have 40... Oh, this is a rated game. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Andre, get ready. You know what's happening now. You know, you know that word. It starts with, you know... Wait, is it playing the same songs? Dear Mega, GG Blair, GG, thanks for the game and thank you for your donation. Lee Chess will greatly appreciate it. Uh, Alright, now I'm just gonna play some random guy. Shark Attack, okay, I saw Shark Attack's challenge from the beginning. He's from North Korea, oh, I love that. I don't know why so many people like to troll and just put no North Korea. Is it like the first country that comes to your mind? <laughs> Sorry, Andre. Sorry, I 
I just felt like tricking you. <laughs> I thought you won't believe me, dude. It was so obvious. You see that kind of tactics in instantly. Alright, so e3 is a pretty popular move nowadays. And then usually you just go b3. No, Andre, are you joking? You're in deep trouble there. Okay, I'll, I'll do it for you right now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Alright, so whenever he develops the bishop, this is when you can take on c4 and go b5. Because if you do it straight away, he just takes with the bishops and saves an extra tempi. C5, gotta fight for the center. So after this game blurg, I'll check the evaluation just for you. So bishop b2, we gotta develop, continue developing, bishop b6. Yeah, white is 4 plus 8 blur. How about that? Oh, my king is way less active. That's true. You're better prepared for the end game. Prepared. Oh, mega. How do you know how many Armenian... Uh, Armenian Fisher Random Champion? Oh, we got a raid from Ornikar 2. Thank you very much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Uh, welcome, 61 Raiders. Uh, I'm just playing games with viewers on Leech STV. Uh, yeah, and we'll be we'll be streaming for another an hour and a half before we move back to my we, we, before we move to my channel. Thanks, Onikar. Hope you had a good stream, my friend. All right, so we're very healthy position, guys. Look at my pieces; they're all beautifully developed. Now, just gonna bring the rooks. Oh, Blair, sorry. I hope I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. <laughs> I just wanted to troll you, man. No worries. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed being tricked. Oh, he's working on Leech's puzzle. Ah, oh, I see. Alright, so. Now I'm gonna move away my queen. Because usually this is heavily favor speed. To have my rook on the same file as his queen. Oh, you gotta go, Blur? Okay, see you later. You'll get me next time. You got me like four times before, so. Or I'm gonna do something very nasty. Oh wait, does it work? So I was thinking if he goes like somewhere with the knight, I go knight d3. An insane move. But I don't think it works. No, wait. Oh no, guys, calculate. See what you can find here. There has to be a tactic here. Yeah, I heard Lich has... Lots of people like to do Liches puzzles. I'm not a big fan of puzzles in general. It's not because it's bad, I just don't really like puzzles. But yeah, I mean, lots of GMs, even top of the end, do puzzles. I'm just gonna keep it uh, sencillo. This should be 493. 94 is good too. There's lots of. When your position, when your pieces are developed so beautifully, it's just there's gonna be something there. It's, it's when you know something's good gonna happen. Um, bring some light. Knight a4, even knight a4 was possible. That's a good move too. I'm playing random, my friend. There's no ELO discrimination. If you're... 1200 or if you're 2500 doesn't matter there is a, a elo discrimination on my channel but not here oh jack is 3100 i don't know but i'm not gonna try sorry <laughs> i don't think it helps my chest at my level to do puzzles
it basically helps you to move your brain and you know but you can do the same by reading a book or anything all right so now i have too many exciting options but i think this one is just too obvious all right so he's sacking the queen because he does not have another option but that's good he realizes that he has to sack the queen and now i'm gonna play very simple i'm just gonna take this uh, do i no i shouldn't give a check this king will be so usually guys with pawn on g2 it's good to give this intermediate check and then push the king on h1 and then go bishop b5 if you're gonna do that but in this particular position after taking on g2 it just doesn't make sense because king is beautifully placed on g2 it's just a typical motive you gotta know how many positions do you evaluate each second? Dude, I don't know how to answer to that question. One position a second? <laughs> no. Now e4 is an unfortunate, unfortunate blunder. Schnack attack. What, what schnack means? Schnack attack. I gotta google that. Schnack meaning. Pouring attack. Oh, gotcha. Nice name. GG, my friend. Blurk. Ah, so the guys told me it's plus five. All right, I'll trust them. GG, snack attack. So in general, just one recommendation. Uh, yeah, so don't make two moves with the same developed piece. And try to develop quickly. Okay, I'm just going to close my eyes and choose one. Uh, this one. Nico, Nick Polidis. And then next one I'll scroll down and just move my mouse randomly. So I'm just gonna choose randomly from now on. Hey man, so it's it's all about luck now guys. As long as you Yeah, I, I don't wanna play I don't wanna play completely new handles because I had very traumatic experience playing uh, new handles and facing cheaters. Obviously, I'm sure there would be no cheaters who want to play me. It would be just total waste of time. Like, if, if you're a cheater, why would you play against the Grandmaster who's trying to help you to learn? I mean, why would you cheat? It would be totally insane. Alright, let's kusel. From Canberra, the capital of Australia, my friend. Alright, this F5 score is beautiful for my knife. How do people cheat? Dude. Stream snipping. <laughs> Stream snipping is not one of the worst things. I tried it once to watch my opponent's stream and play him. It was one of the worst experiences. I played worst chess of my life. It makes sense maybe to do when your opponent is much better than you, but other than that, it doesn't make sense. Alright, so I'm playing queen d4. Usually you don't want to bring your queen in the center of the board, in the middle uh, in general, especially at the beginning of the game. But here he's just so passive that I can get away with lots of stuff. I remember when, when I was a kid, we had one girl in our uh in our group of chess coaching and my coach would tell him oh you know this is an exception it's good and then she would just basically every time she plays game she would look for an exception and that would build up a very wrong uh, way of thinking because yeah there are exceptions in chess but you, if you just try pay attention to them uh you, you're just gonna think in a wrong way so yeah, there are exceptions in chess, but don't pay too much attention at the beginning of your uh, chess career. Sandro Laco, okay, Sandro, I I was gonna play you actually. I might, I might play you. Wait, wait. If I play you now, that 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 will be wrong though. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this. But Sandro, if I if I don't play you, okay, 
I'll play you on my channel, okay? Just come to my channel and challenge me. I'll play you 3 plus 0. After this stream. Because here I have to play randomly. Completely randomly. Yeah, if you say play me, I'm not gonna play you. That's it. Just gotta send your challenge and hope to get lucky. Yeah, I won a pawn, but I'm not very proud of myself because I thought I could I could get more than this. Oh no no no! Actually no no! I I, I thought I blundered, but actually I didn't. I thought I blundered rook g4, but it doesn't do anything. Well, I gotta protect my rook before I lose it. Is this still the same mega? Hmm. I heard of this band, but I don't know much about them. Hey, German. Well, you should work hard, my friend. That's what you should do to improve your chess. That's the only way. Uh, I'm not. I'm a bit worried now. I, uh, he's he's getting pretty decent counter chances. I'm playing pretty pretty badly. All right, I'm just gonna go here. It's just I gotta cover my light squares. Oh damn! It's three plus zero. Shit. We gotta speed up. At least I have a big advantage of being a patron. I don't know if you know these guys, but if you're a patron on Lee Chess, your time actually moves slower than usual. It's a secret I'm gonna reveal you. It's slightly slower. Yeah, usually I just study... Yeah, guys, you can trust Mega. If, if you ask a question and uh, I miss it, Mega can just reply and he'll be correct 100% of the time. So usually at my level, you just study openings, my friend. Openings, 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 practice, openings. Because the openings is just too important. The game could be over at the open. You could be in such deep trouble from the opening that... The rest wouldn't be meta. Okay, Nike Polidis, gracias for the game. My wild guess is you're a Greek. So I'll just ask you what part of Greece are you? So now I'm gonna do random. Alright, here we go. Uh, eh. Magnus Chess. Oh yeah, let's go Magnus. I just so basically when I wake up, like I brush my teeth and stuff, and then usually I check, check the news check the new games that have been played good luck Magnus hope you'll win a game finally my friend you've been playing like one of the worst chess of your life you haven't been playing like a real MC usually people go something like tricky bishop g5 f3 Jobava stuff Alright, let's play something different. I'm gonna go h6 just to... Oh wait, did, did you send another list, dear Mega? Oh, wow, that's Magnus Chess. Oops, that's not Mega. <laughs> All right, let's play some sensible moves. Yeah, that's too Rodak, but yeah, in general, GMs keep their main weapon secret. So you you don't. So usually, if you buy a master class, nobody's gonna give you like their best novelties and stuff, unless you pay them like heaps of money. No worries, go for it. 
As you can see, the sun is not even up. A bit cloudy today. I'm playing tennis at 1 p.m. Oh, bishop d2 is... B my friend, you go b3 to go bishop b2 and then you go bishop d2. That's just weird, my friend. Don't do that. Indeed, Rodak. Morphine's too good. But if you would absolutely put a gun against my head and say, choose one, your favorite band, I would have to go with The Cure. They're, they're just... So, to me, the uh, definition of really good band is the one that you listen to and then you always come back to it, like, in a year or two or whatever. Two thousand and fifty. So, if you're two thousand and fifty, knowing openings and understanding the ideas is usually very good. So, if you let's play playing d4 and then c4, if you have a proper repertoire, uh, you it's very important to have a proper repertoire. The Varetsky's book are very good, of course, but they are quite complicated. Anyone can challenge me. Oh, you want to take back? Why you want to take back? No, there was no mouse slip, my friend. Sorry. I can't give you a mouse. I can give you a take back if there is a mouse slip. But if you just want to go back like five moves and play better. Oh wait, was Bishop D2 take a mouse slip? Is that what you're saying? Oh, good one, Ryan. <laughs> All right, sure, sure. That's good. That's gonna be like five take backs. It's it was too weird, so I'll trust you. Bishop D two was just. Oh, oh, whatever. Let's just play, man. Let's just play. Okay, I won't take your exchange. Play. I'll keep. I'll let you keep your exchange. Oh wait, not your knight. Okay, I won't take your knight. I'm generous today. Just move it away. Oh yeah, of course, man. Engines are just too good. It, it's dumb to play them. It's just waste of time. I I just just analyze with the help of them. Don't play them, dude. Protect your bloody knight. <laughs> Can't you see it? Okay, last chance. Yes, well done. I'm not even gonna take your pawn. I'm gonna let you have equal material. And then I'm gonna destroy you. I never played it, my friend, so I don't know. I used to play engines when I was a kid. What are you doing, my friend? You want me to go for a draw? Nah. Sorry, that's not gonna happen. Three thousand eight hundred. Yeah, they're just monsters, my friend. Guys, it's even if you're not that good and you're an engine, it's very important the fact that you don't have any emotions. You never panic. You just sit cool and you don't have any worries. Uh, uh, you you don't have to worry about feeding your family or anything. You know, <laughs> you have zero uh, zero worries in life. That's already a big advantage. Not taking the fact. Oh, I blundered knight b6. Luckily, he doesn't see. Scheiße. Oh, does it work like that? <laughs> yes, I missed knight b6. That was pretty sad. Oh, I gotta close the curtain. Oh shit! There's no, there's no increment. Dude, dude, you totally distracted me this game. <laughs> it's time, time to finish it off. Oh, dude, stop it. 
Go Rook C8 check instead. Dude, yeah, I can win this with one second. Sorry, no chance. All right, GG. Just tell you one thing, my friend. Take backs are only for mouse slips, and even then, lots of players are not going to accept them. So, I, my recommendation to you would be just forget about take back. Okay, another random challenge. Going all the way to the bottom, and we go this one. Mateo, casual, let's go Mateo. Rematch, <laughs> there'll be no rematches, sorry. Alright, this time I'm gonna play E6. Solid. Yes, take backs completely banned. Alright, so the newest trend here, guys, is CD, ED. Bishop g5, bishop b4. So bishop a4, uh, usually when this knight is not pinned, you get you can go bishop b4 and try to challenge this diagonal. Because the bishop is on a4, it cannot cover it. I do stream regularly, but you know, I'm a busy guy. I play way too much tennis and uh, lots of other stuff. I enjoy streaming once in a while when I have time, but... Uh, I don't see myself somebody who can just stream every day. It's too hard. But but I really enjoy streaming. Especially I have a really good chat with lots of smart people, so that's enjoyable. From Magnus Carlsen? Yes. GG Magnus. <laughs> Wait, how did the... Just one second. How did Magnus go yesterday? Oh my, oh what, oh that, that's a rest day, okay, I thought he lost again, I was like, what? Yeah, I forgot, there was an interview of Yesipenko, and guys were saying like, he's emotionally wasted, so it's good, there is a rest day tomorrow. Now, now I got it. Alright, shall we go crazy? Shall we go insane? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, no game yesterday. It's pretty exciting actually, there's a super tournament at this. Uh, sad times. Oh, thanks, new follower. Yeah, I do live from chess, my friend. Alright, can I win something here? I don't think so. I can swap the queens and make Andre very proud of me. Maybe I should swap the queens. He'll really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna swap the queens because just Andre is really. Yeah, always. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks for following. Dude, you could have just taken on d5. It was so dumb. Take and take on g5. And I would never forgive myself for being so stupid. Blundering the pawn. It's not like you have a bad position, though. You, have, you still have a very good position. You will subscribe next salary month. Cheers, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy it's in your agenda. Yeah, I did see Queen's Gambit on Netflix. I think it's really good for chess. Uh, it's it's amazing for chess. I'm, I'm actually very thankful they did it. Because after that, guys, watch this. Like, I was on the front page of a uh, Canberra's main newspaper. Look, I was on the front page of uh, Canberra Times, the main newspaper. Just because of the Queen's Gambit. But uh, general in the show for me it was like not very interesting. 
too dramatic and I don't know. I'm very fussy with my movies and TV shows, so yeah. But yeah, it's just really good for chess and I'm really grateful they did it and they did a great job. It, lo it looked really realistic. Except the part when they just stare at each other, when she goes like, nobody does that. Chess pros never stare at each other like crazy. No, I will not attend Armenian Championship, and it's not on June 20, 2021. It's it's in two weeks time. Oh damn, 40 seconds. Uh, it's gonna start in two weeks. So usually the main purpose of Armenian Championship is to qualify for the national team and I've been in the national team for past six years and I'm still qualified according to my rating so I don't need to play in the Armenian championship well I always play super badly so I played there maybe five and six times uh, and I uh, there were times where I scored minus six and stuff being second seed so I, I, I had some total disastrous results oh no my rook is going down so you know i'm really glad i don't play in the armenian championships anymore once uh, i won my first game at the armenian championship and i was leading the tourney and then i lost uh then i drew and then i lost no i no then i won my first game then i uh lost then i drew and then i lost six games in a row six games your second seed and you lose six games in a row obviously something is wrong with your brain all right time to speed up oh my opponent is fast oh Whew. I was pretty slow, like you I made it. Alright, now random opponent from top of the page. Oh, uh, sorry. Where is the mouse? Oh, here we go. Michael Fisher, let's go. Good game, my friend. That was a very close one. Well done. Dude, I had a few seconds. I probably missed lots of stuff. Yeah, so front page guys, just because of the TV show, the, it drew lots of attention. Like literally nobody knew what's chess in Australia, and but now there's lots of attention. Not like, still people not gonna like uh, go crazy for chess, but lots of people now learn playing chess. This queen d2, bishop b2 is kind of pretty popular nowadays. Hey Mygert, how are you? Mygert is one of my main viewers he's always been around as long as i remember myself streaming i remember him yeah i accept any any anything any fast time control actually you know what guys uh, i'm gonna play five bullet games after this so whoever challenged me bullet will get a, a game now because it's pretty fast so i'll play like five games quickly I play five bullet games, so I'm just gonna randomly choose five bullet games and play them. Schnack. So from now on, know what is schnack. Uh, let me just close these tabs. All right, here we go. So this is typical, basically, Hedgecock structure, where white has space advantage, but black has no weaknesses, and, you know, it's a very slow play. I, I don't like it as black as much because you just give the voluntarily give the center away and then have to fight for it. But there's one thing you gotta know in Hedgecock structure: when you put your knight on c6, queen on c7, always gonna be uh, worried about knight d5. Thanks, thanks for liking it. my post on Instagram. Oh, you played King's Indian your whole life. I love King's Indian, my friend. It's one of my favorite openings. No queen swap. Okay. Not gonna make Andre 
unhappy. Uh, for 2000 player, I don't know, man. It's very complicated. It's hard to play Kings India. I think it's more advanced because you just give the center away and then it's it's very an artistic way of playing basically. You have to be a virtuoso to play good Kings Indian. Just like check out Petrosian's game. If you're playing Kings Indian, you must check out Tigran Petrosian game. One of the greatest Kings Indian players of all time. Also of course Kasparov had many 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 good games in Kings Indian. Alright, now I'm gonna build up this massive battery. Uh, yes, I saw that and now I do this and then I would love to do this and I'm actually going to do this and if he does this I go here and he's gonna be mated yes yeah if you're Kings Indian guy gotta check Tigran Petrosian's game uh, strategy of Oh, I don't know even how. Just check Tigran Petrosian's book about King's Indian, basically. Alright, we have luxurious choice here. Take the queen. But usually when you have... Ch you can do things with check, you should do that. If you can grab some pieces with the check, it's never gonna be bad. And now it's mate in one. Where's the mate, guys? Do you see mate in one? Is there a mate in one, guys? Does anyone see mate in one here? Hello? Wait, my chat is lagging. Shit. Alright, I missed your messages, sorry, okay, so the mate is in, yeah, bishop g4, well done, whoever said bishop g4. Alright, now I'm gonna play a few bullet games. Uh, there's not too many bullet options. Guys, in general, I recommend against playing bullet, especially, it's more of a fun thing. I love playing bullet, but I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's that good for your chest. Oh, Titus, Titus is a very strong bullet player, dumb, look, guys, he's ahead against me all right i'm gonna play some good game now and try to beat, beat titus who's pretty pretty damn good cure for pain oh i really wanted to swap the queens damn now he has a pretty good position I just love swapping the queens. Yeah, I saw that check. It's a good check. Alright, let's expose his king. Let's go here. The problem is he can even go here and there's not much I can do. And he does do it. Unfortunately. Alright, let's go here. A weirdo move. Creep and a weirdo move. Well, what is this? Let's grab that. Alright, let's let's play safe. Oh, he does not want to swap the queens. He knows I'm a queen swapper maniac. Queen swap! Oh, no queen swap? How dare you? Swap the queens, dude. Give me a break. No penetracion, por favor. Alright, I'm just gonna take this and see what happens. No draw. Ha ha. Gotcha. Oh, gracias, senor. GG, Titus. I know you're a very good bullet player. So, please don't challenge me on Leech TV next time. <laughs> it's so stressful. Alright, next one, one plus one, one plus zero. Let's do this. Raksari. So as I promised, five bullet games. What did Migrat say? Yes, professional Queen Swapper, that's what am I. 
Clean swap! Yo! That's it, we're winning! Oh, ha, ha. Uh, GG Raxor, should have gone C4 at least. You're playing a bit too fast, my friend. In bullet, the position still matters. You gotta at least think a little. Alright, next bullet uh, is uh, Ati. Let's go, Senor Ati. Alright, so now I'm gonna try to swap the queens quickly, as soon as possible. How do we do that? Dude, I blundered the pawn. Luckily, you're playing fast. I did not notice it. Okay, I'm joking. No queen swap. Massive. I'm gonna launch a massive at attack. Oh, penetration. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Gracias, senor. GG. Me, 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 Don't try this at home. Oops. I'm just being silly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got punished eventually. Okay, now I'm playing seriously. No more pre moves. No queen swap. Can you believe it, guys? What a painful decision it was for me. Yavo! Give it to me. Give it. Ultra bullet. No, that's a bit too much, dude. That's too sick. Uh, well, Lee Chess is the best place to play bullet. Everyone knows that. You can't play bullet on chess.com. It's just... It just makes you want to quit chess when you do that. Alright, let's go. Who is it? Octo... Oh my god, this almost sounds like Ignition. The poker website I play on. Hate that website. Bloody scum website. Dear Mega, what's next, bro? Or shall we just continue with the morphines? Or if you guys, or if you don't send me anything, I'm gonna play the cure. 95, come on dude, go 95, be reasonable. Oh, uh, not now. Alright, let's take the pawn. Pawn for nothing. So usually, when you are in, a ki in the end game, you improve your king's position. When there's no dynamics. Oh shit. Oh shit. What have I done? What have I done to my life? Thanks, new follower. Scheisse. Alright, you can have it. I did not see... Otherwise, Rook was penetrating to c7, so... It was a very tough choice. But the thing is, I actually have still got a pretty decent position. Oh, luckily I have this check. Otherwise, my knight would have gone. Oh, you didn't see Rook e6, my friend. Too bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. 
Uh, I don't want him to penetrate to the seventh rank. Shit. I hear the voice. Oh, that's a lucky blunder. Oh, GG, my friend. Alright, few more games of bullet, then we'll go back to blitz. Alright, let's play E4. I don't think I've played E4 yet. This is one of the Morphine's most famous song, Bueno Bueno. Let's play Bishop B5 check. In general, uh, so my style is very positional. That's why I choose openings according to it. I don't like to go for sharp lines where you have to memorize lots of stuff. And I don't think I have the greatest memory too. So yeah. I don't like to memorize lots of lines and then forget them. It actually happened to me so many times. When I check the line just like two minutes before the game, I go to the round, I'm five minutes late, and then guy plays the same exact line and I don't remember anything. It's just because like that's why when when uh when it comes to like last an hour or something, don't prepare, just just relax, take a nap. That's what I've been doing. Just resting before the game. It's much more important to be fresh than that stupid prep you'll do for the last five minutes and end up forgetting it all on the way to the playing call. Alright, let's go knight d6. Let's stop him from castling. Goes knight d5, we're gonna take it. He's gonna take it. The c2 pawn is attacked. We gotta protect that. He can do this. And then blunder his bishop. Yeah, he shouldn't do that, actually. Uh, I have a massive threat. Yeah, he has even bigger threat. Mate in one. Mate in uno. Oh, 15 seconds. Damn. What the hell? How? I for totally forgot that we're playing bullet. Alright, time to speed up. Queen swap! Por favor, senor, queen swap! Yavo! Yavo! I wanna mate with the bishop, yes! GG, my friend, you're pretty good! Alright, last bullet game. Oh my god, okay, I gotta play you, amigos. Let's see what you got, amigos. Uh, protect knight c4. This was uh, probably a dumb move. Because he has this kind of stuff. Some oh, queen swap? You kidding me? Let's do it. Queen swaps are always welcome. Guys, I'm actually talking like this. It's, it's, it's deep inside of me. I actually have such problems of swapping queens too often. And Blurg is 100% right. Alright, let's blockade this bishop. We don't have dark squared bishop. So as Capablanca said, put your pawns on the opposite color of your bishop rule numero uno ah uh, okay draw draw fine draw is fine just not today why am i not going a4 can somebody tell me that penetration with the rook uh, let's go here. Knight is going to d7. Massive threat. Oh, he defended. Let's activate the bishop. Oh, okay. Let's go here. I'm gonna do something weird. Ah, oh, it doesn't allow me to. I gotta open up this bloody bishop. My girl is speeding up, but it's not gonna help.
Oh, scheiße. I realized I'm doing the wrong criminal once I did it. Can't outspeed me, my girl. GG, my friend. Last bullet game. The first one, who is it? Alexander. Okay, last bullet game, let's go. Muy bien. Because his roof. <laughs> Big red you hit. Yeah, like I'm not crazy fun, but yeah, I love Radiohead. Just like many other very good bands. I'm not really fun of anyone or anything. I just appreciate it if it's good. That's it. Okay, guys, so this is the newest trend. If you've been checking the newest games, you would see the Russian Championship game. Uh, Jan Nepomneshi against Alex uh, against Matlakov. So this is basically the main thing. Oh, dude, I'm playing Bullet. Oh, forgot. I don't remember already what happens here. Uh, so LC Zero, basically the the greatest engine of all time, recommends this. And when it does, people just bluntly follow it. Very simple, as simple as that. Okay, Alexander looks like a pretty good player, developing his pieces on the right squares, while his opponent is quite the opposite. He's playing some dodgy moves. All right, let's take this. See what happens. I have a bad feeling though, yes. I have a bad feeling I shouldn't have done this. Oh damn, what have I done? I'm actually totally lost now. Mamma mia. Che cazzo. Oh, gracias, señor. Scheisse. Good game, Alexander. You're good, my friend. That was a stupid pre move. I should have pre moved check. And then I would have probably flagged him. Good game, my friend. Okay, let's go. Who is next? This one. Steery. Okay, Steery. Let's play a game. Oh, that was second or third loss? Pretty bad. But Alexander played well. Good speeds. It's a good song, David. I'm glad you like it. Hey, Chuck Choi, how's it going? Yeah, I'm big Eminem fan, you know it. That's why it's banned from my channel. No, it's not banned, actually. You have to pay 100,000 channel points to request one Eminem song. Yeah, 5 plus 0 is okay. 5 plus 0 is good. Let's play the French. Guys, there's a very interesting game at the European Championship. Laurent Fresinet played as white. And he basically was lost after like 10 moves as white here. It was insane. He was playing next to me. I was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Guys, I played a training games with my friend yesterday. 15 plus 10. And after 8 moves as white, I, I resigned basically. I'll show you that game. I resigned after 8 moves. One of the worst, worst games ever. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna take and go A4, A5. Hey Pogosian, not much my friend. 
Oh, no worries, dude. Well done. Well, bullet is about flagging, so if you haven't flagged me, I would have flagged you, so no need to apologize. You did the right thing. All right, so A5 is the plan. Oh, thanks. Thanks for nice words, Battlefield. Uh, I'm generally new to streaming. I only started streaming this summer. So in general, I love streaming, but one of the main issues I usually have is energy. Like sometimes I feel sleepy, and when you play strong GMs on leeches, you need energy. So I start playing badly and I killed and I get pissed. That usually ends up badly. Wait, I gotta close my door. Gotta have all mirrors. All right, night before, we're gonna go back with the queen. And this knight is kind of stuck on before. It would actually be beautiful if he just goes a6, I go here and then trap his knight. So c5 is unfortunately a blunder. I mean, fortunately for me, unfortunately for my opponent. Not only blunders the pawn, also knight's gonna penetrate to this massive d6 square and dominate the whole uh, black sides of the board. So. So many, I don't know Ben, I don't know how they play with keyboard. I, I, I can't, I mean, I know people who play fast with keyboard, but I don't think I can do that. Yeah, R Rodak, yeah, I remember that. I still have some of that clothes. Thanks, new follower. It's fun, yeah. And you, so when we were kids, you could actually hit it hard, and then it would, it would, uh, move faster so it was really dirty thanks new followers hey tv how's it going have you been enjoying streaming my friend i need a glass of water i have to say it is a massive square tv massive penetration square So, guys, it's very simple. When the knight is on the edge of the square, it only guards four squares. And when it's in the center, it guards eight squares. So guess where is it better placed? Oh, sorry. It's very simple calculations. You don't have to be a genius to calculate. More squares you control, better piece you have. We're all getting gold, man. I'm 31, half dead. There's a command that in my channel, it says, how old, or you say, how old am I? It says 31, half dead. Which I hope is not true, but yeah. How do you use my emotes, Mega? How do you use my emotes on this channel? Alright, so you got an extra pawn, you gotta push it. Uh, that's actually... Not always the case. It's a passed pawn, so that's why I'm pushing it. If you have an extra pawn in front of your king, don't push it, please. That, that would be a disaster. Oh, GM Melkumian, my friend. You, uh, I'll be raiding myself after this and playing bit of blitz, so you'll see that. Alright, so just gotta watch out for perpetual, but there's only one check, and I'll easily cover my king. Oh, Mega, that's exciting. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, I'll just cover my king, swap the rooks, eventually swap the queens if possible, and then, you know, I have massive... Thanks, thanks, Battlefield, for the follow. I'll have the massive materialist material advantage. Uh, let's go here. The thing is, he's so passive that he cannot do anything. 
just gonna lose eventually. Ah, I should do this. This is simpler. Rook b6 was just a waste of time. Oh, thanks for that. Mega. Yes, just challenge me, my friend, instead of doing uh, commands. We still got half an hour, so I'll have a, another four games at least, I believe. Alright, GG's theory. Just for your... So you just blundered the pawn, my friend. But here... Yeah, you, here you have some difficulties. So you make sure you know this idea. When you go bishop a6 in French, knight a6, because your pawn is blocked, I have time to go a4, a5 and cause you huge trouble. So make sure you know this, my friend. GG. Alright, another random challenge. Here. Where is my mouse? May Zait node. 3 plus 2. Alright, let's do that. Let's play the Scandi. One of my fellow streamers, Australian Jack, who does the Puzzle Rush. He's a big Scandi fan, so I'll make him proud. Hey, man. Yes, you, you. Uh, it's actually, if you ask to play on the chat, there's less chance you'll play, so just challenge me. Scandinavian is not one of the best openings, with all due respect. You develop your queen in the middle of the board and stuff, so it breaks lots of rules. That's why white usually gets advantage in Scandi, but it's usually in chess, guys. Defensive resources are very big. You don't Usually you don't lose a game from one mistake. I mean, not blunder, of course. Yeah, blunder, you're done, usually. But inaccuracies... You have to usually make few inaccuracies to lose a game. W one or two inaccuracies puts you on the edge, and then usually the third one takes you down. If your opponent plays well. Yeah, yeah, Leech has puzzles. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I didn't realize Puzzle Rush is on chess.c. <coughs> Oh, funny tournament moments. Too many, my friend. Too many. So once I made a move. It was sixth move. Uh, I was like 16 years old. So I walked around and my opponent didn't move for like 40, 50 minutes. And then I came back to the board and I was like, oh shit, it's my turn. And I made a move and my opponent's like, dude, what the hell? It's still my turn. I was like, oh, oh, sorry, man. And then I did the same again. Uh, with my friend uh, Robert, I was playing him in a tournament. I adjusted my piece, and then I accidentally made another move. I was, and he's like, "What the hell are you doing, dude? Is this like a new trick?" Uh, there were times when I was late to the game uh, for 59 minutes, and you were allowed to be late for an hour or 29 minutes when it was 30 minutes. But I never forfeited a game. I was very close many times. So many times there was zero tolerance. Where if you're late to the game to, and you lose the game. But you know, I don't care. I'm late like I arrive one minute before the start. Because I have really bad habit. I'm always late for my game. I'm usually not late. But for chess games. Like when I play the World Open in US. There's a like two hour time control. <laughs> and... There's no time in between the games. You finish your game, you have lunch, that's it. You're tired, but you have to go for the second game. Because it's two rounds a day. And I was like, dude, screw that, I'm taking a nap. So my friend, we share a room. Uh, we, we decided to share a room, which I never do. Uh, because I hate it. Uh, so we're sharing a room, and he's going to the game. And it's like 10 minutes past 3, and the game starts at 3. And he's like, dude, you still showering? Well, you're gonna go to the game? I was like, yeah, dude, just go. I'll uh, be in like 15-20 minutes because like yeah I have I'm gonna get an hour and a half instead of two hours but I'll be much more productive when I'm fresh uh, while if I go just sit at the board I won't be able to calculate how did it feel versing Magnus Carlsen painful dude I had one of the most painful loss against him 
it was basically game over and then I managed to, to lose that game. So Mr. Zaytnot is playing very solid chess. Uh, this is this is one of the structures in chess you must know these two pawns against this and you're gonna have these structures at some point of your career there's no way if you're playing chess you never get this structure it's same like Karlsbad structure which would be this pawn here so there's some structures you just must know if you play chess yeah he does need to move faster that's true Zaytno but his name is Zaytnot, so he gets into side notes. So he, he cannot, you know, go against his name and play fast. Zaytnot means, you know, uh, time right, time trouble basically in German. Or how do you translate? Time pressure, yeah. That's the right right translation all right penetration let's go oh passivo all right let's bring the uh, the other rook so usually oh cumbia mega yeah let's go with cumbia my friend everyone likes cumbia Alright, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna take this, we're gonna go here, it's gonna go here. And this is usually a very unpleasant position for black. There's just too many weaknesses. Well, that's not a good idea, because my, my pawns are gonna be faster. Oh, that's a good idea, stopping my pawns. Well, I really wanna activate my king, but I do not know how to. No matter what, I'm gonna activate my king. That's something you must do. Oh, that's unfortunate blunder. That's what I was counting on. Otherwise, it would be for me unreasonable to let his pawns to go too far. Now one pawn is easily stopped. And I can slowly push my pawns. Let's see some 15 seconds, yeah. <laughs> so the usually guys, when pawn gets here, you just keep your king safe, so the rook doesn't check and promote, and then he's helpless. And there's a typical trick, guys. When the pawn is here, you keep your pawn on the 7th rank, so he cannot do this trick, you know? Whenever he goes here, you take, and your pawn is protected. So that's a very important trick you gotta know in the rook end games. Can be very useful. Just keeping your pawns on the seventh rank when the pawn and rook are like this. Promotion. We're promoting, guys. We're promoting to executive level. All right, next one we'll do here. Uh, Axel, 3 plus 5, dude, no, no, uh, senor, come on, let's play, let's play 3 plus 2, man, sorry. Three plus 5, we'll get lots of impatient people. You too, my friend. Enjoy. Alright, I'm gonna play something dodgy. Let's go here. With all the respect to the Budapest Gambit fans, it, it is dodgy. You just give a central pawn on a second move. Oh, bye, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. F4 is absolutely horrendous move uh, because it just weakens this diagonal and asks for a huge trouble don't ever play f4 guys so usually when your pawn is attacked and you can protect that pawn and develop a piece that move can literally never be bad unless you're blundering something all right my friend you have weakened lots of squares penetration is coming 
Oh, look. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give you a check. And then I'm gonna go here. And then you'll, you'll see how helpless you are, my friend, because of the F1. Eric Rosen likes Budapest. Nice. Hey, Grant Owen. How are you, my friend? The ma music wants you to make drink wine. Nice. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we gotta bring our pieces to the game. All right, it's getting hot in here. Where are all the smiles at? <laughs> hey man, how's it going? All right, we are taking a pawn with the jack. Oh, senor, oh, senor, por favor. Guys, what is this? What do I do now? What did he miss? Dude, are you trolling me, my friend? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, I gotta do this. <laughs> Sorry, GG, my friend. Don't play like this, my friend. Don't play F4. Develop your pieces. Develop your pieces. Don't weaken uh, squares around your king. So, develop your pieces. Rule number one. Play knight f3, play knight c3, play bishop f4, play e3. Don't play too many pawn moves. GG my friend, hope you enjoyed. Alright, next one will be this one. That's creep, that's no one. Next one. Mister, oh patron, let's play dear patron. I haven't played e45 yet, let's do that. Oh, I'm glad Axel, cheers mate. So next time do not play f4 against Budapest. Play knight f3 or bishop f4 against knight g4. Alright guys, so uh, uh, young grandmaster Van Forest came up with this crazy idea bishop c5 actually. I don't think there have been any serious games. And it's actually a pretty, pretty reasonable move. I think this is how he played it. Then here he went knight f6. That guy is working so hard. He comes up with so many novelties. I wish I worked half as hard as him. But yeah, the thing is here, I have no idea what to do. So I might might find myself in a huge trouble. Corazon. Oh, what do I do? This is actually some massive trouble. If I go here, it just pushes. Scheisse. Alright, I'm just gonna go here. Desperado. Oh my god, he's 2600. Shit. He's gonna just blow me away. Oh. Oh no. I didn't realize. Dude, can we start again? I didn't realize I was playing somebody so strong. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to be like another 8 move game. <laughs> no problem, my friend. Oh, dude, bishop f7, game over. Bishop f7, knight g5, safe in e. Alright, so we gotta try to win our pawn back, but uh, it's kind of difficult when you don't have your pieces developed. Knight d4, alright, bishop d5. Looked like a very unpleasant move, so I'm happy to not play that. Now at least I'll win back the pawn. Yeah, yeah, now the worst is over. That that I can ensure you. I can safely play... The... No, that's maybe not a good idea. No, I'm just... Nah. Yeah, let's just take this. 
We go knight c4. And we actually have some threats now. Can you believe that? We do have some threats. Guys, remind me to show you my game that I lost in 8 moves. Let me just open the board. So I don't forget. Alright, this looks like pretty reasonable position. Now we gotta connect the rooks to the game. We're gonna do this and then this. Just, you know, gotta open diagonals for my bishop. A fight is coming. What's your favorite chess match in the history? Ooh. Probably Kasparov Karpov is the most legendary one. Thanks. But there are too many. I really like Botvinnik Bronstein. But guys, lots of matches were so unfair. Like, the contender had to win by two points sometimes. And that's ridiculous. If you just think about it. You have to beat world champion by two points to become world champion? Come on, dude. If world champion is such a loser that needs to win by two points, then he shouldn't be a world champion. <laughs> but yeah, Capablanca left. I mean, all of the matches were very exciting. But yeah, Kasparov Karpov unfinished match. The marathon match, basically. Yeah, that's... Because I analyzed that one closely, it will, it will stay in my memories forever, basically. All right, let's queen swap. But good question, my friend. Well, it, well, it depends what you're looking in a match. Some matches were more dramatic. Uh, like Botvinnik Tal when Tal crushed Botvinnik with his crazy tactics. That was a fun match. Yeah, basically all of the matches, World Championship matches, were interesting. All right, let's go ahead for F3. Alright, I'm going to hack. That's it. You can have anything. You can have everything I got. I just want your king. Yes, whatever. I'm gumbling. Oh, does not want to gumbel. Okay, I'm gonna protect my pawn then. I don't think he'll win the vacancy, but uh, I'm sure he'll be back and crushing people. Yes, I'm very close friends with Aronian for a long time. And we we also work together for a long time. So. And we're also teammates. So. Alright, so my opponent is playing some average moves and giving me some break to attacking. But H2 was an average move, it was a bad move, I believe. Because it, it become it's gonna become a target. Oh yeah, this one is coming. That's unpleasant. Alright, I'm gonna Thanks new follower. Abrigado. Which means thanks in Portuguese. Alright, I'm just wanna do this. And sack my bishop here. Valenato, ah, oh, si, senor. Glad you like it, La Toca. It's uh, you gotta thank DJ Mega. He's he's the guy who sends me all these playlists, and he has incredible taste and knowledge, of course. So you can't really go wrong with Mega's uh, playlist. I think occasionally he tests me, he sends me like really bad albums just to see if I can tell the difference. But yeah, other than that. Attention, 10 seconds. The thing is, if I give check King F1, he has Queen G1. 
You can cover his king. Alright, let's take the pawn. Oh, let's run. Oh, that's useless penetration. That's a very good move, beautiful move. That's probably useless. Mujer. Oh, does not give me anything for free. I don't like that. Give me something, dude. I like free stuff. Everybody likes free stuff. It's just like in life. You'll take anything that's free. Almost. Alright, now I'm gonna make Blurk proud and activate my king. Activate the king, let's go. Not gonna swap the queens, just because I'm losing the pawn. That's the only reason. Now I'm gonna swap the queens. King is going, yo. Alright, we gotta do this. Have to do this. Oh, what is this? I'll take this. Oh, you want me to promote? I'll do that. I'll give you a nice check. And uh, then I'll take your rook. And then I'll say gracias, senor. Oh, Hopkins, how's it going, my man? Alright, thank you for the game. Well played, my friend. Alright, next one will be this guy. Oh girl. Alan Pogosian. Oh that's we got you Alan. <laughs> Alright guys, last two games. La Toca, I'm glad you like it. Gigi Gani. Yeah, he's Armenian, guys. He did not corrupt me or anything. It was absolutely random, I promise you. He asked me earlier to play in the chat, but I said, sorry, I can't choose you over the others. Just because you're Armenian. It was just a coincidence. I know you'll find it hard to believe, but yeah. Yeah, Alain wants to play rated, so he wants to ruin my rating. Yes, Rodak, very filthy. Before be, before end of my life, before end of this stream, and then I'm gonna continue on my channel. But then I will not be playing viewers. I'll be just blitzing. Oh, I know this song. Played it before a few times. The sun is up. All right, let's play some logical moves. Usually, before playing e6, you want to develop your bishop. Rule number one don't just, you know, cut off your bishop from this wall. Te quiero. Oh, come on, dude. Don't you know Radiohead? Creep. And there was already Creep. Because there are lots of Creeps, you know. So I had to say Creep 30. But now I'm 31. Queen exchange, exchange, yes, queen exchange, yavol. Oh, I love this. Queen exchange is. It just makes me feel so satisfied. Uh, so, last two games, guys. Then I'll show you the game I lost in eight moves. And then I'll move to my channel. 
It is a good song, of course. I've been listening to Radiohead song called There There. I really like that one too. Well, in general, they have lots of good songs. There are lots of bands in general or musicians who just have one hit and that's the all they could come up with. The rest is rubbish. Okay, Rodak, I hope, I hope it will be best decade of my life. I, I feel like it's not, <laughs> but yeah. I, I, I'm in general as long as I'm healthy. I'm happy. I don't have any health issues Because you know in life it's just you get unlucky you get some disease and that's it The rest is gone. So I'm very very Glad I'm healthy and the rest is secondary Messi of course Messi my friend not just because he's much better than Ronaldo, it's just because he's humble and nice, I like him. But I think he's, he's better than Ronaldo. He's a bigger talent. He's just, you know, magician. In general, I've always been Barcelona fan, so... Yeah, indeed, indeed, very sad, my friend. Uh, he's actually the highest rated player I beat in Bundesliga. That was a big victory for me. He was 2670 back then. Totally killing it. Sorry dear Alan, I'm not gonna give you any of my rating. Just can't do it. Cannot afford it. In general, on leeches, if my rating is below 2800, I call it POS. <clears throat> you can guess what it means. POS rating. But in general, I think 2800 is pretty good rating. There are some people 2800 who are not a bit overrated, but in general, 2800 is going to be a very strong player. Thanks, thanks for the game, Alain. And here we go, the last game. This one. Octavian Augustus. Again rated. Please, don't ruin my rating. Please promise you won't win. Gain white, alright. This time I'm gonna play D4. No worries, Alain. Hope you enjoyed, my friend. Just want, where do you live, my? Do you live in Armenia or US? I doubt you live in Armenia. It's 3 a.m. Thanks, new followers. So this is kind of newish. This should be three queen d2 setup against Perts. Oh, Leafong? What's? Not sure. I know what's Leafong. What's Lifong, man? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize that just like go bishop h6? No, I would never do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh wow. So there's a proper thing called Lifong. <laughs> I'll do it only to someone who's really pissed me off. But to someone just to tilt him, no, I won't do it. I, in general, I like to show respect to people and, you know, get the same back. Ah, oh, kids like to name things. Lifong. <laughs> How does it make sense though? Lifong. Alright, so now we can at least win a pawn, but I'm in a mood of hacking, so I'm gonna hack. No, my... F oh, actually, there's a very good chance I will play a tournament in Australia. It's called Dobrel Cup. It's this one. 
Do Beril Cup. I won it last time, so that's the strongest tournament in Australia, so... Yeah, uh, I'm hoping it won't get cancelled. I don't think it will, because Canberra haven't got a case for like 10 months. And they have like, first prize is 5k, so pretty good tournament, and I'm hoping to play that. But nothing is planned. I mean, that's the only thing I'll play, hopefully, and I haven't played for a year. I haven't played OTB chess for a year. That's insane. Oh, left. Oh, I don't like that guy. How dare he? How dare he invent something like that? It's like the big cloud thing. I hate the inventor of in, inventor of the big cloud. With all the respect. <laughs> this is something you cannot be proud of. Hey, Teimosa, how you been, my friend? Alright, so this knight, there's basically one good square for this knight, so I'm not gonna swap them. Wait, but if I go here, I can do this. Alright, let's do something ridiculous. Let's go here. If he goes here, I'm gonna go here. How about there? The time control is 90 plus 30. Because there's two... Uh, it's double rounded, so there's one there, there's one round, and then four double rounds. Horrifying schedule, but yeah. It's usually played over Easter. Oh, mega shit! Yeah, I forgot. But there was not federated. There was just like six round tournament, sixty plus ten. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the only one I played. I just don't count it. Because it wasn't even rated. But yeah, you got me as usual. You got me lying on the spot. Yeah, I've been in Australia for over a year. And I plan on being here for at least another six months. There's no COVID. Good life, so I don't want to leave. I'm kind of jobless, because I don't coach. And uh, I cannot play chess. And I've been so lazy not training. But... Uh, uh, just doing sports and stuff, enjoying life. But yeah, it's it's a weird state of mind nowadays. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this channel. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Octavian. Thank you for the game. When you're playing the perch, you gotta be very careful because you give up the center, so you have to really know what you're doing because things can get really bad. So guys, this is the game I lost in 8 moves. Just pay attention at this beauty. So I went c4, c6, knight f3, d5, g3, bishop g4, knight e5. He surprised me with bishop f5. I went cd, went queen d5. So just first question here. There's only one move here that white don't lose. What is it? Can you find the only defense for white? Yeah, no worries, Octavian. Yeah, COVID is really bad in the US, of course. My brother lives in the US, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's where I played, Knight F3 Floyd, and uh, resigned two moves later. There's another move here, and that's the only one. Queen B3, yes, well spotted. Queen B3. And you know, using the tactic that if he takes, I take on b7. And the position is complicated here. Well done, uh, little helper. Instead, I went knight f3. He went bishop b1, rook b1, queen a2, queen c2 only move. And guess what he played here? Just have a wild guess. And after that move, I just decided that I shouldn't be wasting my time and just resigned. So, what would that move be? Guys. Oh, sorry, not this one. So, what's the move, guys? Just very simple move. 
After that, I can resign. So basically, if you play this position in the GM level, after that move, lots of them would just resign, go home and rest and not waste their time. Come on, guys. Very, very easy move. Yes, knight a6, threatening knight before, and there's literally nothing I can do about it. If I play something like this, knight b4, queen e4, knight f6, queen f5, e6, and bye bye. So that was very sad. After knight a6, it's like plus 3. Plus, oh no, plus 3, yeah. It's bye bye. And if I go here, which I was thinking about, yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, this is a joke. Swapping the queens. It's bye-bye. Yes, very sad, uh, Akash. Very sad, my friend. Knight x6 and I'm going to home. Alright, guys. So, uh, that was good. Hope you enjoyed. Now, I'm going to move back to my... Not move back. I'm going to raid to myself, which I've never done before. What's even my channel called? GM Melkumian. Alright guys, thank you for staying around. Now I'm just gonna move to my channel, so if you wanna continue watching me play some Blitz, please tune in to my channel. It's called GML Kumin. I will read in there right now, so let's go. Wait, did it work? You cannot raid your own channel? What? Oh, okay. Well, it did work. So, Chris Chris did it. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, Chris. Thanks a lot. 